what's what's your you know? Plans? They didn't know about that. Or it's like so many plans right now. There's a lot of things I'm working on that you guys will eventually see. But pastry is my main focus right now. Other than that, there's things you'll eventually. It's coming. So are we gonna see Angela maybe Vincent Simmons and working on some film? In what? In film? Are you gonna be working? Oh, absolutely, absolutely, definitely look for that. Yeah. Studying with Cameron Thor at the Carter Thor Studio, just preparing for the world. Thank you. I actually am working on my own line, the Dean line for curvy women. Oh yeah. It's gonna be out next year. It's gonna be all about stretch. And uh, you know, I'm really famous is the key word. Yeah. I have a problem. Friends have problems, so I come out with a line. And uh, you know, I'm just working on my website. There may be a reality show bubble in here. Don't want to talk much about, but maybe a lot more cocoa. What do you know? <laughs> Who's that gorgeous blonde over there? Who that go? Um, it's, it's your wife, huh? I know. Yeah. His mom. Yeah. It's, it's good to see you here. How did you enjoy the show? It was awesome. I mean, I, I I've met those girls, the, the beautiful twins. Where are you going, man? Several times. Um, and they did Brooklyn Fashion Week and last time in February. Let me pick him up. Um. But the clothes were just amazing. I mean, they're feminine, but they, you know, really well made, great fabrics. Is this your wife's first fashion show? No, this is her sixth this week. Um, wow, me. She walked three yesterday, two on Sunday. This is the only one today, and then she's got one more tomorrow. Oh, great. So what, what are we expecting? Um, we, maybe we see your wife one day in films, or she plans to do her own fashion line? Um, who knows? I mean, the great thing, at 36, she's sort of rediscovering her life and, and doing new things. Um, and that's great. I mean, you know, they always say you learn something new every day. Well, you can do something new every day. You know, Alex signed with New York Model Management in August, and, you know, we hope that she might walk one or two shows, um, but she's doing seven, so that's pretty amazing. Oh, wow. Much so, great um, sex to her. it'll be, you know? This has been a great, um, as I said, she only signed a month before this week's fashion wear, this fashion week at first, spring 2001. So maybe now between now and uh, the shows in February, she'll do some editorial work and, and, and actually move from Style 360 up to Lincoln Center. Sweet. You look fashionable yourself. Uh, maybe I, we see you on a men's line some outside. Some... Well, you know what? It's, in a way, there aren't enough men's lines around. And, you know, fashion week is 90% is women's clothes still. But, you know, let's face it, we're half the audience, and I don't like to wear dresses, I don't know about you, so I want to <laughs> <No>, I... <laughs> But the funny thing about this week is that the weather changes every day. You know, I'm sort of in spring clothes now, but two days ago I was, in, I was wearing leather pants and a leather jacket because it was cold. Um, but I, give me another year and I'll think about doing a men's line. Okay, I'm looking forward to that. So am I. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Pleasure. Good, good to see you, man. Thanks a lot. I'm a big fan of your work. So you got any new projects coming out? What's what's going yes, on? Um, well, I'm not at day 26 anymore. I'm working on my solo project. Okay. I have a mixtape coming out um, around November. It's called Guitar Hero, like November 23rd. Okay. You release some like hot songs, but the album I'm trying to push toward the summertime. Okay. I've been teaming up with some really good people that are really dope in the game. So Great. I'm just taking my time getting the business in order because if you watch Making the Band, that was one thing I complained about was the business and, and um, having a career and also having the money to exactly. you know it takes money so um where can they find your music is there any specific i'm actually on reverb nation if you type in reverb nation slash quanell q w a n e l l you can hear a few of the songs but my twitter is q u e underscore um t h a future you can hit me up there to find out exclusive information on whatever i'm doing like when i'm doing my events appearances twitter <laughs> thanks a lot q thanks man appreciate it Thank you, bro. thanks so um, let me know, um, are you working on any current projects at the moment? Yeah, so my sophomore album comes out later on this year. In the holidays, it's entitled Inside Out. Uh, the single from it comes out late September, this September, entitled Be There. Oh, nice. Wait. See you in some... Or anything, anything upcoming? Definitely, yes. Uh, in, the future, in the near future, you will see me at home. Probably fashion line. I do believe that an artist nowadays has to be more than just and the musician aspect of it. You have to really extend yourself out there in all the broadcasts. Whatever you find, just do it, and it, well, of course, with interest, and make your empire big. So um, let, let the viewers know um, what's, what it takes to um, get up in the game. Like, um, do you have any advice for upcoming talent? To really make it big in this industry, music industry, you really need to develop a big. 
hard skin. Like I call it alligator skin. I don't care what it is. Like uh, because there's a lot of up and downs, and you have to be a strong person in order to really know how to sustain your faith in yourself and your confidence as an artist, even as a woman in this business. So and just know what time is right. You know. Okay. Thanks you. Thank you for the interview. Thank you. you did good. I love that compliment. I wish I heard that a little bit. Um. Yeah. So I say Cat Luna, and you're watching. Mm -hmm. Diamond Media TV. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hi, it's Cataluna, and you're watching Diamond Media TV. My aunt